Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and welcome back. Today I'm playing some more R Factor 2 where we're going to be driving a LMP3 car around the Daytona International Speedway road course version. Today we're also going to be testing out what the wet weather engine is like on R Factor 2. Now I've done a little bit of wet weather driving in real life in terms of racing open wheelers and stuff like that but never on the sim. So this is going to be something new to me. We're going to be doing a 45 minute race. We've got 18 AI set up. In terms of the car we've chosen today, as you can see, we've got the Norma M30 LMP3 car. Now this you can download from the uh, Steam store. In terms of the skins, I tried finding some other skins that I could uh, add to this sort of series, but we've only got the five cars to choose from. So I've just gone with this one here. In terms of the race settings we're gonna to use today, as I said, it's gonna be wet, so I've preset the weather. It may dry up a little bit towards the end, just, just to see what the sort of progression is like from wet to, to wet to dry. Damage multiplier, I've set to 100. I'm gonna bring the AI strength down to 100%. AI aggression, 40. AI limiter, zero. And besides that, I'm probably just gonna do a quick qualifying beforehand just to set the grid. Now, this is my second sort of take on this video. Unfortunately, I'm gonna to have to do a standing start because the AI seem incapable of performing a rolling one, which should provide an interesting uh, run down to turn one considering we'll all be really bunched up and probably sideways from starting on a banked trioval. The track we've used today, now this mod is slightly older uh, and outdated in terms of the Daytona Speedway itself. You can see the uh, backstretch grandstand is still there, but for the most part, the layout is identical to still, still identical to what it is right now in real life. Uh, besides maybe a couple lines and ripple strips, rubble strips, whatever you want to call them being in different places. I've tried to remember back to how you set a car up in the rain, although I have no idea. I think I remember correctly, you soften everything up, but don't quote me on that one. Anyway, I'm going to go and do a quick qualifying. Hopefully we get somewhere up the grid. Okay, so I have managed to put it on the pole uh, with a little bit of a healthy margin as well, although the session was sort of getting drier as it went on. I set my lap quite late. I have no idea what my pace is like, but we'll soon find out. Uh, we are going to have to make one pit stop because it is 45 minutes long. I've got to remember, I am the first pit stall. Do not overshoot that. It's always the worst thing being the first pit stall. Always preferred being all the way down the end. But we'll just have to see how we get on. All right. Starting on the trival. This should be interesting. I'm already rolling. Uh, go straight. Oh, that was a lot harder than it looked. Windscreen wipers on. Oh, slight nudge. Sorry. I'm, I'm apologizing to an AI. Oh. Right, so it's not actually raining. I don't think it's just the track's wet. But... See if that changes. Traction down. All right, we survived turn one just. Oh, the kink. Don't like the kink. So much understeer. Can actually use the curbs here. They're not too slippery. All right, survived the first lap of the infield. Oh my days! It's weird. The spray's not leaving any uh, <laughs> anything on the windscreen. There it is. So I did notice in uh, practice that I was a lot quicker than the AI through the bus stop, but then slower through the infield, so I've got a good run here. Slipstream, engage. Oh. Do not kill me, please. Oof. Ordering on 170 clicks into turn one. Pulled up. That is got to be the hardest turn one in American motorsport. I have actually driven here once. And that was in a Formula car. And it was a lot easier than this, I can tell you that much. Oh, Alright, we have the lead. Let's go. 
I've actually also sort of downloaded a uh, new sound adjustment to the game to make it a little bit more realistic from an audio standpoint. And I have to say, it's pretty good. I mean, you notice the engine sounds a little bit quieter than what you'd expect, and the, the wind sort of brushing off the car sounds a little bit louder, which is what it is in what it is actually like in real life. When you're in the car, you really... I mean, if you've got all the proper sort of ear protection and stuff, you don't actually hear the engine that much. I mean, obviously you do, but not a great amount. Again, it depends what car you're driving, though. It's actually not raining at all. I wonder if this track's going to dry up a little bit quicker than what I thought it was. See, bottom right says 45 to 80%. Don't actually know what that means. I'm assuming that's how wet the track is. See, we've got a little bit of a dry line forming there. Oh, it's hot. I how hot you get doing this. All right, so we've got two, three seconds on the car behind. Problem is, if it does rain, I'm probably going to start to wear out these tyres. Oh, they're still, still doing all right. It's only a single tyre sort of make for the LMP3 category. So we've got one, one wet compound, one dry compound. Oh, there's the rain. Here we go. So it's amazing the differing grip levels that I'm experiencing right now based on the line, based on the part of the track. Uh, I do love the tyre model on r Factor 2. It's probably the probably the best tyre model out there right now that I've experienced so far. Way better than iRacing. iRacing you just you slide and then you're dead. That's what happens. This if you slide in most cars you can actually catch it. Man I am sweating. Gosh. Probably doesn't help, I'm wearing a jumper. Ugh. Smart idea. 16% rain. Almost 10 minutes in. Got 13 laps of fuel left. Oh, there's an apex over there somewhere. Feels that track's getting slightly more wet. We're getting a little bit more loose. Locking up the fronts a little bit easier. So one thing I've noticed with this LMP3 car, it does break away really easily if you have too much rear bias, especially on this track where you're braking and turning at the same time. See, I'm sort of very straight on my entry to a lot of these corners, trying to turn and brake as little as possible. So whenever you're turning, you're compromising your braking. Unless you're in a uh, sprint car. All right. Well, we're still slowly pulling away from second. Oh, that's a curb. Starting to really easily lock these fronts. That's a another thing about the r Factor tire model is it does have flat spots, so you have gotta be really careful under brakes. Don't wanna go locking everything up every two corners. I have actually gone and bought some new Fanatec pedals. So I got the V3 Club Sport, whatever it's called. Just sort of splashed out a bit. But my god, if I had these pedals when I was eye racing, whew, would have made a huge difference. The old G29 specials. I can now actually modulate the brake instead of just smashing it as hard as I could every time. Still got the old faithful G29 wheel though. I just can't justify. There's nothing. There's nothing out there like that's within my price range that beats this. It just it just does the job. It's got so many buttons, nice sort of wheel range, and let's see flappy paddles. Stop raining again. We've got sort of light rain going on here. I said it's at 95%, so I was assuming it was actually going to be wet. Obviously not. I have to look into that a little bit more. 
Oof. All right. Keep keep the tires on the wet stuff. I'm overheating. Mind you, they're pretty cold right now as it is. All right. What are we looking at now? Still seven seconds, so that gap sort of stayed the same. Two seconds quicker than the uh, guy in second on that last lap, actually. Yeah, I'm not quite sure I trust that relative. 169 miles an hour. So I have actually got safety cars and yellow flags turned off. Well, the yellow flags thing is still on, but just a safety car because. I don't know, I think R Factor 2 needs a little bit of work when it comes to how you sort of uh, deals with, well, the, how the AI, more to, more to speak, deals with the, um, with getting behind the safety car and all being in the right order, etc. Just watching some other YouTubers and streamers, they've had to restart races and such just because the AI cannot seem to deal with a safety car on this game. But that's what happens when you have um, games that you could mod and stuff like that, add mods to. They don't quite work with each other. It's good for online racing though, but... I still think there's no point doing any form of online racing unless you're doing iRacing. I've tried R Factor in the past, tried Assetto Corsa in the past. Um, what else have I tried? Gran Turismo. Just nothing really compares. Right, so we got still just over 10 laps of fuel left. We are. Still consistently two seconds a lap quicker than the guy in second. I can see the, uh, oh, that's a bit deep. The dry line is starting to really form now. Unfortunately, though, it's where the AI drives, so <laughs> it's not quite the same line that I'm using on some of these corners. Thankfully, all the AI, for some reason, around this uh, track sort of sit up on the top of the banking so if we just hug hug the bottom here we'll be nice and nice and cool now unfortunately there is only one sort of gear ratio I can run spec to these cars so can't do anything but rev the absolute shite out of it down the <laughs> down the straights So much for this 95% wet weather setting, it obviously doesn't think it's worth raining today in good old Florida. Ooh. Do love Florida. Great place to be, really diverse. When we're racing down there, you see all kinds of people. Just uh, do a little bit driving with Team Pelfrey back in the day and uh, their base down there so spent a bit of time in Orlando and um, sort of surrounding areas can't skip the theme parks as well Universal Studios oh, love it also big born in the UK Harry Potter fan mate dream come true. Although a bit disappointing because the castle was a little bit smaller than what you'd expect. Actually a lot smaller than what you'd expect. Right, that's what you do when you've got a 20 second lead. You ramble on about random shit. I'll say that and I'll go fence it here in a sec. It's really starting to dry out now. Oh, I'll say that. <laughs> Still got seven laps or fuel left. Still not um, dry enough for slicks. I don't think so, anyway. We'll soon find out. I'm gonna 
drive these wets into the ground so I don't have to pit twice. Oh, mamma mia. It is hot in her. Always would have liked to have driven this uh, car in real life. Oh, since we're on the banking. Last time we did do our fast slap so far. Oh, God, I just realised in fifth gear for like 20 fucking metres. Just look down, I'm like, man, I'm revving out, but I'm only doing like 140. There is maybe a slight problem with this sound adjustment of or mod I've downloaded. It's probably engine is maybe just a little bit too quiet. Oh, no, 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 don't die, don't die. Straighten her up, straighten her up, straighten her up, straighten her up, straighten her up. Uh, couldn't get it back in gear there for a sec. Man, the kink is slippery still. Oh my gosh, we've definitely got flat spots now. And it's just started rain. Oh. Wolves vibrating, wolves vibrating, very bad. Alright, we're still in the lead, but oh my god, I'm gonna have to pit. This uh, wheel is gonna destroy my hands. Alright, well, since it's just started pissing it down, I'm gonna put wets back on. Holy crap, this uh, these flat spots are really bad, guys. I'm gonna have to sort this out. Alright, so we're going to come, come to the pits this time by. We're within the window to finish. About, yeah, past halfway. Can't do that again. Oh my god. Alright, get her fueled, get new tyres on it. Oh, alright, well, quick spin. Didn't destroy the race, but we have a bit of work to do now. Pit stop break. Time for a starburst. The elixir of life. Do you need to fix my uh, clutch pedal? I think I'm not quite getting down to zero. Alright, and we're away. I haven't. Damn it. I haven't finished opening my starburst yet. <coughs> Aha. All right, we're good to go. Man, it's really hammering it down now. Wow, it's gonna be interesting here because it is really starting to rain, and uh, there's still a little bit of a dry line. Okay, so we are down to dead last, but everyone else in terms of the AI is going to have to make a pit stop. So we'll sit tight here and see when they do that. Has to be within the next four or five laps. Still plenty of grip. Mind you, I've got brand new wets on. I think the delta up there is based on my um, Fastest ever lap, which was set in that uh, qualifying session I just did. Okay, so definitely catching the cars ahead. Ah, oh, here we go. Here's a couple of pit stops taking place. In fact, I think the whole field's down there. Interesting. So we've got one of the AI that's beaten us out. Quite know how that's happened, but. Try and get him back as soon as we can. Just get through the infield, all right? Whoa, jeez. Yeah, so the guy that was in second is now quite a way a ways behind us. So either this guy hasn't taken tyres or I don't know what. Wuskenfield. Oh, 
Horse and field, however you say it. Alright, back in the lead. Oh yeah, so he must have just gone straight through the pit. Missed his pit stall. It happens. Right, it was actually just stopped raining again now. This was always the worst thing you could have when I was racing back in the day was intermittent rain. Pain in the ass. Man, this this car is just ridiculously long wheelbase for its uh for the track. I do like that, it's pretty neat. The track's actually dry up um, by the... Oh God, I keep forgetting to change gear there. Uh, by the safer barrier, which is what it actually does do in real life. I remember the, during one of the practice sessions when I raced here, it was, it was like this, it was drying out, and I found it quite funny how it does dry up next to that safer barrier before everything else. Can get through there in a second. Ah, turn! Come on, mate. Wow, man. I'm all of a sudden got no grip whatsoever. Oh, we are slow. What's going on? Still got ten minutes left. Oh, Jesus. Man, just wheel spinning. I don't know what's going on. Just this fan. Give us some more air. Oh, that's better. Why don't I do that like 30 minutes ago? So, still roughly 13 seconds behind. Or oh, ahead of the car behind. Oh, man. It's just really breaks away. I mean, you can catch it, but I'll be right on top of it. Alright, come on, we just got to hold on for nine more minutes. Oof, grass it. We love a little bit of grass. All right, we've still got 12 hours. We've got plenty of fuel left, 68 litres. That will do. Just got to keep it pointing in this direction. Still a gap in the car behind. Big gap back to third. Thankfully, I don't know if iRacing actually takes the bottom of the car into account, because if it's the case, we'd definitely be looking for a new floor right about now. Come on. Seven minutes to go. Should just cruise from here on out. I don't know why I'm pushing it so hard. It's just chill. Although what's going to be interesting is the uh, yeah tyres are going to start to get. A little bit warmer here in a sec. This dry line continues, but we've got plenty of plenty of space down this trioval and on the banking to cool them down. That's so good when you nail turn one here. It's a really good feeling. No, 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 not again. No, don't die. Oh my god, don't hit the fence, don't hit the fence. Alright. Come on, we gotta get back going again. Only problem is we're gonna have a lot of flat spots now again. But we're just gonna have to deal with them. Alright, I can hear second, come on. Gotta get a wriggle on. Alright, well, 
flat spot isn't as bad as what it was last time, but man, that kink is going to kill me one of these days. They're pretty bad, but they're not as bad. Well, actually, no, that's, that's pretty bad. Uh, I spoke a bit too soon. Uh, but it's, it's manageable for now. Five minutes, that's all we have to, all we have to deal with. This will be an interesting test, actually, see if they get worse or if they get better. Because, in theory, with a flat spot, it will now continue to find the same point. Uh, the same sort of flat spot in the tyre, and it will just keep locking it up. But, if you don't flat spot them over and over again and you adjust to it, you can actually make, they will go away because the tyre will wear down uh, to the, even out that point. Yeah, in theory, provided we don't flat spot it over and over again now. So we'll just see if we can go easy on the brakes. Back it up a little bit. See, there's definitely a definitive dry line forming now. Alright, so we should probably have either one or two, oh no, two or three more laps. What's the gap now? It's looking just three seconds. You gotta go. I'm not sure if you guys can hear the steering wheel in the background, but it is vibrating. It's actually getting worse. It's actually starting to cost me lap time now as well. I still pull away from second though, so still got that pace. Towel, Jesus. Oh man, it's so hard to stay on that dry line. Uh, if the, the spray actually stops when I go on the... So that's pretty cool. If I come back down, search for that water, I get, get that spray back. Uh, oh, no, that's not going to work. Alright, so in real life you actually have to... Well, you did once upon a time have to come to a complete stop and then continue on, which means we've now lost the lead. No! Oh, don't tell me I've just gone and cost us the race with well, the second to last lap. All right now we now we have to hammer down. Oh my god, I think we're gonna have one lap to try and catch this guy. The rules back in the day meant you had to stop during uh, when you when you went through the bus stop. Oh, I don't know if that's still the same. Right, we gotta we gotta go now. This is the last lap, I reckon. Um, we do have we do have better pace than him. Even with these horribly flat spotted tires. Uh, we're not we're just not close enough. Damn it. And this thing is vibrating. Damn it! I cannot believe I just threw that all the way. Two laps to go. Bruh. Oh well. Still a fun race nonetheless. Good to get sort of acclimatised with the, the way the track changes. I must admit, this is really cool. The way we go from wet to dry and the, the way the dry line forms. I mean, the set of course is pretty good with that as well, but definitely love loving some R Factor 2 right now. All right, guys, uh, not the ending we wanted, but still a fun race. Hope you enjoyed the uh, the entirety of it. Definitely stay tuned for more R-Factor action. Up next, I'm going to be doing a full Daytona 24 hours. Well, not full. I'll probably do 12 hours, so a half of it. I've got a full mod from the whole uh, of the IMSA series that was supposed to take place this year. Of course, they got their round at Daytona done, but we'll see what that's like. So stay tuned for that. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.